Hi, welcome to Gemstone Tarot. This is your daily tarot for Monday, the 1st of October. Valentine, it's the 1st of October. The 1st, already Val. I know, time has flown, hasn't it, sweetheart? Yes. Valley Bobs is just settling in. I'm not sure if she's going to stay there. Yeah. Choosing her spot. This is a new spot. Well done, Valentine. Good spot. Yeah, everyone can still see you, sweetheart. It's all good. Oh, having a wash, this means having a sleep. Okay, October. What? Just got to go with it. Every year I feel the same. Every year delicious January comes and you think, this will be a great year. <laughs> this year will go slowly. And it just goes... It kind of goes slowly because it's January, because obviously in the UK it's like horrific weather. But then as soon as it gets to spring, I think it just starts to speed up from about April onwards. I suppose that's like, you know, the Aries part. Quick. What do you reckon, Val? You're an Aquarius, aren't you, sweetheart? Yes. Valentine's Day. Yay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I am using my... Smells like the 70s tarot. Do you smell them? It's like, no, not particularly. I will choose what I want to smell, Gemma, and let you know. I've just been looking after my mum's cat, actually, Poppy. Mm, she's absolute peach. She's a rescue cat. I will put some uh, pics of her on the gram when she'll let me take some. She's a strong-minded woman, is Poppy. Okay, this is all right. Five of Swords, Venus in Aquarius. Or well, for me, it's a bit of a power card. This is a weird situation. Fives are kind of disruptive in the tarot anyway. They take that rut, kind of good rut stability of the four and they throw in an extra skittle and go, How's about some of that then, you know? And everything gets a bit, ooh, ooh, I don't know, I don't know, reshape. And it's sword, so of course it's strategy and it's thinking and it's communication, but it's also together with that insecurity of the five. And that in itself is a vacuum. And when you have a vacuum, the more powerful entity tries to fill it, okay? If we look at this, there has been a battle going on, but it's not like the Seven of Wands where everybody's got a big stick and they're like, yeah, have some of that. It's more, it's sun's coming up, 5 a.m., look at what we've done, what on earth happened here last night, you know, it's the morning after the night before, it's the walk of shame. <laughs> they're doing the walk of shame. Okay, that's why he's got his hood on, all right? And then this person, I suppose that this is the victor because the other people have cast down their swords. They've kind of given up. So it's not like he actively won and he has got a bit of a smug expression on his face. See there? He's a bit, mm, yeah, I'll have those swords. Thank you very much. I'll put that on my Instagram and be like, yeah, look at all these swords. I've won the battle. <laughs> but... It was more of a passive aggressive thing. It was more because the others gave up. This is mind games sometimes between a faction, a group of people, often to do with work, often in relationships too. I find this card comes up if you're dealing with air sign people or if you're an air sign person that there is a power struggle between the two of you of who can seem to care the least or who can um, withhold information to have power over the other person. Venus in Aquarius, planet of love and the planet of newness, but also a certain trepidation about showing the heart. Okay. Then, bow, wow, bow, bow, bow. Porn Tash Man, <laughs> the workman leaning on his hoe, the seven of pentacles. Okay. So you want me to come and dig your garden? <laughs> I've heard you wanted me to get rid of some weeds. Mm-hmm. Twelve's moustache. Okay, seven of pentacles. Again, seven. Not as disruptive as the five, but definitely a number of this. 
What's this, Gemma? A number of movement, but not in the same way as the eight. The eight is like, woohoo, ducks in a row, things are aligned, move. The seven is, hmm, hmm, I'm taking my time to contemplate. Look at that, he is, he's taking a reckoning. So, some of you are going to be taking a reckoning of whether something is worth it. Do you drop your sword? Or do you ambush? Okay, do you show your hand? Three of Cups. Sometimes the Three of Cups, well, often actually for me, is to do with friends, colleagues, groups, okay? This seems like a group dynamic. For me, it feels quite worky. It can be family as well, though. It's a lovely card, the Three of Cups. And in and of itself, it's a beautiful thing, but I just think in this scenario, it just denotes a group of people. Then Major Arcana, the Hermit. I love this card. Representing Virgo, but also it's in the reverse. What this says to me is, you know, no one is an island. You're not, you may feel like you're operating alone on this, but I feel like you have allies within the camp. If we're talking camp, and this looks like camp, you have allies within the camp. There's a, that's my way, way of working it out sideways, you know, don't, you don't have to blab the farm, you don't have to blab your position, you don't have to give yourself away, but you can strategically communicate, sow seeds, whatever it is, with various pinpoint people who could assist you with a way out. Six of Swords, a fine escape, okay? Five of Swords, moving to the Six. I like this. This is someone throwing you a line. Sometimes people don't offer you the line. Sometimes you've got to encourage the line out of them. That's what I'm saying. And it may be a little politic. Okay. You know, you may think of it as, well, the ends justifying the means. Maybe so. But, you know, don't mistake, this may be a calm place, but it's still a battlefield. And what did Pat Benatar say? Exactly. Love is a battlefield. What a tune. What a tune. It's now in my head. Ho, 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 ho. This doesn't come up often, folks. Loyal heart. What I'm getting for this is that kind of, um, what's he called? Kenneth Branagh, you know, doing Shakespeare, when he kind of mounts the horse and he rouses the troops and he goes, who's with me? Okay, that's what it is. Who's with you? Loyal heart. Who's on your side? Whether in love, whether in work, whether in friends, whether in family, whether in life. Okay, who is with me? And I suppose as they say, if you're not with me, you're against me. Sometimes the people who seem to be against you are the ones that can throw you the line. Just saying... Ooh, two cards. Yes. <laughs> now, getting the baps out. Freedom. Freedom. Yes, you can whip it off if you want to. Stay legal, folks. But it is freedom. That is freedom. And power. I love the power card in this deck. I just think it's... A much more covert way of expressing power. Power and freedom and a loyal heart. Who's with you? Okay, check out my Instagram, Gemstone Tarot. The October readings are coming. My voice is not very strong, so I'm having to pace myself and not um, batch and rush. So, you know, they will ping up shortly. Ping, ping, ping like that. Okay, probably going to do them in reverse order to treat the latter end of the horoscope people first because I don't think I've ever done that and I can tell you why I've never done that not because I'm just nasty but because uh, you know sequentially and number wise I have trouble okay so of course it means I have to start at 12 and go backwards I never dared do it before but I'm I'm gonna try it for you folks okay I'm gonna try it so look out for those those will be up soon please share the video on social media like share and Subscribe. Yes. I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.